biggest mistakes why people are not fulfilled, happy, and successful, whatever their definition is. So again, I'm out here doing a video. I want to welcome each and every one of you. My name is Robert Hollis. And one of the things that I tell people all the time is you'll see a lot of people. I, I did some stats. I think you guys, I love numbers. But there's only 167, 167 million people that work in the United States. And when you talk about how much money a person needs to make in this day and age, the top 10% of people make $160,000 a year. The top 10%. To get into the top 5%, that's $290,000. And to get in the top 1%, it used to be a million, and now it's 819,000. So what I love about AI and ChatGPT and Google Now with all their AI is I love looking up stats. Because if someone were to ask me, why? Why, Robert, how did you become successful? How did you do it? I've narrowed it down at 62 years of age to two things. It's only two things. Now, the first one, in my opinion, is the most important one. And this one is, is most people are just, they, they've lost their imagination and their ability to imagine a better future for them and their family. Uh, Mark Twain said it best, you know, I can help you get anything you want in life, but most people don't know what they want. So what we do is we just do status quo. We just become conformist. We just believe that there's no bigger imagination for us. So if you're not excited, if you're not excited and your imagination doesn't have, have you emotionally go into action, then you just won't do it. So if you're not excited about losing weight or excited about making extra income or excited to do anything. The difference between people that write a book and not write a book and become an author is because they believe if other people can do it, they can do it. They imagine it and then they get excited and then they go into action. But that's with everything. There's a lot of people in the world right now that don't have the imagination or excited to work for somebody for peanuts. <laughs> So, you know, a lot of people are going, why don't you just go get a job? You know what I mean? Why, why don't you just go get a job? And it's like, honestly, I, I, I'm not excited about it. I'm not excited about spending all my time working for someone for just enough pennies to get by. So if you'll notice, some people are excited about marriage and excited about kids. And then there's other people who are not excited <laughs> about marriage or having kids. And so this is the very first thing that I know that you need to do is you need to imagine again. You got to learn how to use your imagination. Now, the one thing that I'll tell each and every one of you to go, and I'll make sure to plug it in the video below, but there is an audio that I ran into years ago, and it was called Six Phase Meditation. I forget how many millions of views, like 11 million views on it but it's actually a meditation that you listen to it's a a guided meditation and vision lakani actually has a couple of minutes in there that you're supposed to imagine what your life would be three years from now the reason that a lot of people quit is because of unrealistic expectations see so we always put in our mind or set goals or create a vision that our unrealistic expectation is everything needs to happen right now. Right now, instant food, instant everything. <laughs> so even when I tell you what the second part is, if you don't, if you have unrealistic expectations, some people decide to become entrepreneurs or market online or do all kinds of stuff. Maybe I'm gonna build a YouTube channel or be an influencer or whatever you decide to do, you know? The bottom line is, is you'll hear of people quitting college or quitting school, or once they get a degree, 
they don't even use that degree because they go, I did this for other people. I did this because everyone around me expected me to do it. So now I don't want to be an accountant. I don't want to be an insurance person. I don't want to be a doctor. And some people are going, what? Yeah, a majority of the people do not use their college degree to actually make income. True fact, Google it, AI it. <laughs> so according to LinkedIn and Forbes magazine, listen to this number. 78% of people, that 78% out of the what? 167 million employed? 78% uh, of people are not happy. They're not fulfilled. And so they try things, but they try them because somebody else did it. It's like, hey, someone else was an influencer or somebody else built a YouTube channel and made millions. And so they buy the courses, they do the things they're supposed to do. And then what they do is they jump into it and they don't go into action. They don't complete the course. They don't take notes and sit really seriously. Because what they did is they really wanted to make money and really money doesn't buy happiness, but neither does poverty. But I believe what people are looking for is freedom. They're looking for freedom, fulfillment, happiness, health, right? You know, wisdom, love, connection. And so what people do is they jump into something and then all of a sudden they make a decision, I'm not excited about this. Well, they're not excited about learning something new because at the beginning, like I said on a video I did late the beginning of this week, is we just unfortunately suck at everything that we don't know anything about. And so here's the second part. So the first thing again, is you got to find a way to imagine again. And through that imagination, you got to get emotionally excited about learning something that somebody else has already done. Now, second step, once you get that down, now you got to find a person that's already done it. People can't take you to a place they've never been. And so the biggest, biggest mistake that people make, right? is they get involved in something and want to do it for another reason other than the freedom and other than, you know, uh, I don't know, the excitement of it. So if you jumped into something just because you wanted to make money and you're not excited about learning a new skill, then guess what? It's, it's toast, right? But the, one of the biggest mistakes, again, I said biggest mistakes, is the other part is they just will learn from anybody. Anybody that's got an opinion, anybody that's got a YouTube channel, anybody that's on social media. If what made me successful is I came from, you either come from inspiration or desperation. I was from desperation. So I was hurt on my job as a mechanic. Um, I'm now on workman's comp and they're telling me, the doctors are telling me I won't be able to be a mechanic anymore because my knee won't support my weight. Uh, forget, you know, running around with your sons. He was so, so wrong. Thank God for that. But at the time, I believed him. He had a white coat. He had authority. And so according to Workman's Comp, I needed to learn a new career, a new skill. And get this, they told me that if I wasn't willing to learn a new skill, then they weren't going to pay me my 900 bucks. So now I, 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 my electricity shut off. I got the repo man following me around, uh, trying to confiscate my car, uh, uh, repo my car. I, I got an eviction notice. I was desperate. And I just yelled out, man, God, there's got to be something, literally, you know? And a person called me up. You can check out my story. Go to Amazon.com and look up how is that working. This is my best-selling book, Rat Race to Freedom zero to hero. Uh, you should be the hero of your own story. And uh, what I did is a guy named Sean Hennigan told me about an individual that was making $62,000 a month. And he was looking for people that he could train no experience necessary. And so first of all, I didn't believe that. So when I met him, there's two things you got to look for in a mentor is documentation beats conversation, evidence. 
I went there because Sean told me that he's seen his check attached to the stub in an envelope. So now this is how smart my mentor is, right? He looks at me and I ask for it. I see it and I'm like, wow. So what's the first thoughts? Oh, I don't know who you are, how long you've been doing this. You know, you might be smarter than me. You might be more charismatic than me. You could be funnier than me. You could be better looking than me. You know, it's crazy how much we beat the crap out of ourselves, right? But then what he did is he immediately showed me pictures of him and other people that had no experience. So he's like, listen, Lori, she was a waitress. You know what I mean? Uh, hey, Sherry, you know, she was a, a, a assistant preschool teacher, right? And then all of a sudden he's going, hey, this is uh, Rich, you know. He, he worked in the oil field, digging holes in the ground. You know what I mean? Before the well came over, it's called a rat hole. <laughs> and so him showing me that he had taught other people to make $10,000 plus a month. So he said, if I can teach these people, I can teach you. Now, there's two kinds of mentors out there. One will show you recent documentation and evidence of their income, like in the last month, last two months, last three months. I've been doing this for 37 years. And then there's another mentor that also has helped other people. See, why wouldn't other people see we, it's weird how human beings think. And I understand this because I happen to be one. <laughs> and so here it is, right? And when people hear this, they go, wow, why don't I do that? So recently, right? Uh, we had a septic tank that collapsed in our backyard, right? And so immediately, I started asking people for referrals. Huh? Hey, who do you know that does a great job? Who do you know? Da, 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 da. Who do you know? And if you were going to get someone to work on your car, if you were going to get somebody to do construction on your home, or like in us, replace a septic tank, wouldn't you want to find someone that's established, got incredible success stories, been doing it for years with their experience, I mean, why wouldn't you want to do that? And so, first of all, when people get, if you get your imagination and you're excited, now to seek a mentor that is available. See, there's people out there that made money at one time in their life, but they haven't made it. And they're living off the success that they once had. And so, you want to find someone that's done it over and over and over and over and over again. I've been very blessed to be at the top of seven different companies. The current company that I'm the top at of Super Affiliate, my wife and I have been with this company for say over six and a half years. So now the next question is how many people have you helped? See, I've helped 67 people earn over a million in commissions and nine of them own their own network marketing company. Now, I'm not saying that I could be your mentor because I don't know what you imagine and what you're excited about. See, it doesn't make a difference if I could show you how to never work for another human being again by helping other people also create a future for them and their family. See, we all know that there's people out there, apparently 1% of 330 million people, you know, make over 819,000. You're going, I don't want to make that. Well, how about 290,000? Hmm. How about 176,000? Yeah. Huh. 10% of the people? Would that be 33 million people <laughs> in America? You know, make make that kind of money? Why not you? Because what people do is they're not excited about what they're doing. They're excited about making money, but they're not excited about learning something new. They just don't want to do it. And then they have unrealistic expectations. And you usually get that from people that are unexperienced. So if you found somebody that has taught other people how to do it and big one, they are available. See, I, I'm very, very blessed that I fit in all three categories. I'm not only documented this month, last month for the last, you know, 37 years. 
I've helped other people hit that status. And some people, some of my students, have actually made way more money than me. Way more money. That, that, that is the coolest. That is the coolest. And then I'm also available. So you got to find people that are good at teaching other people how to get the results that you want. And then you got to be willing, listen, to be an apprentice. You got to be willing to uh, be an intern. You got to be willing to listen to people that are successful and do what they do. Uh, a lot of people were very blessed to, you know, you can check out on YouTube, go to youtube.com forward slash Robert Hollis. And you guys would be blown away that we just went over a million, uh, 1.1 million, I believe, views that we have. We've made probably over $22,000 with our YouTube channel. And uh, what's really unique is there's people out there that, that like Mr. Beast that makes millions a month. Google it, AI it, it's there. Now, when people reach out to him, they want to make that kind of money. They want that kind of influence. They want to give away, you know, money to other people in need. They're just not excited and they don't imagine themselves doing that. So there's this little step that Mr. Beast says is, hey, listen, build a YouTube channel. It's free to create it. Once you create it, put up 100 videos. When you get 100 videos loaded up on your YouTube channel, then I'll give you the next step. Because he, he already knows and I already know that there's less than 1% of people that will do that. That's the facts. And so when people want to be successful, but they're not willing to learn how, that's really bizarre, isn't it? But how many of you like me fit in that category? How many people like me do you know that fit in that category? And here's one of the great examples is just recently I got involved in trading, right? And so I got involved with this company called Akashix. It had a 15 day money back guarantee. And when I got involved with them, they gave me free money. Did you hear me? Free money. It's called OPM. They funded me the money and I got experts that send me a signal and I copy it or I paste what is called tap and trade. And I get to use other people's money to figure it out, right? Now, I've introduced this to a lot of people in the last couple months. And I've already got people that have won the phase one. They've won phase two. They now are funded and they're now making, you know, withdrawals. They're actually withdrawing money for them and their family. And then there's people like me, right? I purchased it. I hooked it up. I did a couple of trades. Um, I'm not excited about it. I don't have an imagination of making uh, $2,000 a day trading. And you might go, wow. Well, I make $2,000 a day right now doing what I do. And that's telling people about this incredible company. So I've always built teams for 37 years and I'm good at it. And I love helping people get results. There's nothing more fulfilling for me than helping somebody else get hope and belief and get inspired. Now, something unique is happening to me right now that I've never, ever had happen is there's people within my organization like uh, KC, you know, Kamal, uh, Brown, uh, um, Jaime Morales, uh, Tomas from Poland. I have these people all over, Rul, Rol from Spain, uh, uh, Malcolm, you know, from Portugal, uh, Julia from Australia, uh, Joshua, Daramella, and Mosh, and Coach Josh from, from uh, um, Africa, Nigeria, Africa. I all of a sudden have these people that are getting crazy results like Arthur Anio. 
and they're inspiring me. And I'm going like, wow, that's what happened with me in the people business. So I now have people that are in the company that are getting incredible wins. Um, I think I looked at Arthur's account today and in the last nine days, I think he's made like nine grand. <laughs> And I see him on here all of a sudden. Hi, Matthew. Hi, Shelly. Hi, Mary. Uh, uh, Raul. It's great to see you guys on here. And so please understand. Please understand that I'm now getting inspired by their success stories. And when they say, hey, you know what? This is all I did. I did this, this, and this. And I went, oh, dang, man. I knew to do that. Well, why don't I do that? Well, I don't do that because I've never imagined myself making a full-time income trading. So I'd never have seeked out a mentor. And if I did, I haven't done what they told me to do. Is this helping you? So a lot of people all the time will say that certain things are scams, right? Uh, it's too good to be true. You know what I mean? And what they're really saying is that doesn't excite me. I don't see myself. I don't imagine myself doing that. So they say the same thing about every job. I would never be a welder. I'd never be a mechanic. I'd never be a lawyer or a doctor. I'd never be an accountant. I'd never do real estate. See, everyone thinks that they're just picking on you when you talk to them and say, hey, you ever think thought about you know, getting in one of these categories, if you could actually, you know, make more than the average of 59,000 a year. Would you like to get out of the average or below average? Because all you got to do is have imagination that if others done it, you can do it. Next is find someone that knows how to teach other people to be successful and they got to be available. So most people just listen to anybody. <laughs> hey, this person says I can make money. I'm going to get in their program. Yeah, don't ask it for any documentation. Documentation beats conversation. Got the patent on it. Got the domain. Got the everything. Slogan mark. So you got to find people that are documented and have evidence that they know what they're doing in this day and age. In September of 2024, that they know how to market in this moment in time. Then second, you want to find out who they know that they have taught. So it's pretty interesting. You see two kinds of websites, right? Or two kinds of YouTube channels out there. One is where they'll put like a name, uh, a, a name and then their initial like Robert H. You know what I mean? Or, or, or author W. And then you got people like me that have current, current testimonials on their YouTube channel of people that have been successful last month, the month before. And I'm not talking about people that are making a couple of hundred dollars. I'm talking about people that walked away from their job. And so I don't say that to brag in any way, shape or form, but people always, always, always ask me, um, why you and not somebody else? How can you make millions of dollars? Well, step one, I was desperate. I was in desperation that if I didn't find a way to pay my rent, get caught up on my utilities, uh, pay, get paid the back payments on my used car, that I was going to be homeless without an automobile. Okay. So that sometimes will motivate you. I never ever looked at myself making as much as my mentor, even though I've out earned him, out earned him in this industry. Uh, I never, ever, ever thought that, that I'd be that guy, but I did believe that I could pick up whatever percentage. So I thought, man, what if I could make six grand a month? What if I could make, you know, that double what I made as a mechanic, 72,000 a year. So all I got to do is figure out 10% of what this guy knows. So when I met him and seen what he's done for others, he started working on my imagination. He said, Robert, listen, if I took this $62,000 check right now and signed it over to you, signed it over to you, what would you do with the money? Oh my God. 
Step one, get caught up on my electric, my rent, my car payment. I, I got to get out of debt so I can live. And he goes, then what? I'd like to pay down debt. Then what? Um, I'd like to try to repair my relationship with my girlfriend, Terry. Um, hopefully I, I messed up. I didn't think I was worthy. I didn't think I was enough. So I, I'd like to, I'd like to go there and, and I'd like to ask her and beg her to be my wife. I'd like to propose to her. And he's going, wow, how would that make you feel? And I said, it'd be the best thing in the world. And he goes, great. Well, you can do it. And I said, oh my God, what do I got to do? See, don't we all do this? And he goes, Robert, listen, you say as little as possible to as many people as you can, as fast as you can. We've already talked about the stats that there's going to be less than 10% of the people that really want to double their income. It, it's, it's facts. Okay. So you're going to have to go through a lot of people, but if you can get 70 people to watch this short video, then they'll be interested and they'll watch the rest of the information. And I went, I, I, I can do that. I can absolutely do that. He goes, if you get this video and you get 70 people to watch this video in your first 30 days, your life will be radically changed forever. And I took him up on the challenge and the rest is history. So I got my imagination back in gear because he helped me. I then got excited about making that happen and just getting 70 people in front of a good video uh, that allowed me to make $10,000 in my first 45 days with my mentor. Now that I could document it to other, the rest is there. So I was very, very, very blessed in surrendering and asking for help. I then got in front of the right mentor that was not only documented right now and willing to show it, but he also showed me the documentations of other people he helped. And through that excitement and imagination, I got super, super excited, enthusiastic. And I started asking people if they knew anyone that needed to make some extra money. And then I put them in front of the videos and still doing the same thing today. So when a lot of people go, I've tried this and it doesn't work. No, you didn't have imagination of being able to do it. And so you didn't ex get excited. And so you didn't find the right documented mentors and you didn't follow instructions. Why would people not follow instructions? Why would people not go into action? The same reason I quit playing guitar. I had an imagination it would be cool to play a musical instrument. Once I got the musical instruments, I then went and found a mentor that not only was documented, but also documented in helping other people. And then as I started practicing, I lost my enthusiasm. I lost my imagination. I started looking at it like this is too hard and I'm not good enough and I'm not picking this up. I really, really suck at this. And I wasn't picking it up fast enough. So I had unrealistic expectations. So I sabotaged myself. The same for me. I don't like it. I'm not going to show up. I'm not going to practice. So I quit. And man, have I quit a lot of things in my life. Sound familiar? You know people like that? So how do you get back to it? Well, you just got to find a way again to be inspired by someone who already did it and then get re-excited, find the right mentors that are available and teaching others that are documented today, doing the things today, the things that I do today are radically different than what I did six months or a year ago. So I hope this inspired you. I hope to help you. Again, Ola, you know, from, from Sweden uh, inspired me. He said, Robert, could you do a video on this? Because he goes, a lot of people keep saying that they tried things and didn't succeed. Well, that's the old Yoda story, right? You know, don't try, do. Don't try, do. Why don't people do? Because they don't have an emotional imagination that inspires them into action. If they do do that part, and then they don't find the right mentors because they didn't know the right questions to ask, now you're doing things that you're not supposed to be doing. 
So I love and appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much. Do me a huge personal favor and share this video with people that you think can be inspired. You can check out my YouTube channel. Uh, go to youtube.com forward slash Robert Hollis. Uh, there you'll find all kinds of videos. I think we got like over 2,200 videos on there. But I'm here to help you. Reach out to me. I'm available. And uh, Ola, again, thank you for inspiring me. He always goes, why, why don't people, you know, why don't people get excited? Why won't they do this? And I go, I'll tell you why. And he goes, can you do a video on that? So those are the mistakes is people try to do things without being inspired through a mad, emotional imagination. And then if they do get excited, they're not learning from the right people that are documented. So have a great day. If no one's ever told you that you could be successful and fulfilled, let me be the first. Let me give you that permission. My mentors did that for me. And again, anything I can do to help you, I believe in you and have a wonderful day. See you on the next videos. Bye for now.